Welcome to Valley of Laura. We are heading into Pandora. We have a 9 to 10 fast pass for Navi River Journey. And it's 9.42, so we're cutting it a little close. But parking lot was a little crazy. There's the botany badge. See the mountain. Sorry, it's shaking, guys. I'm walking. So the camera's moving up and down a little bit. <laughs> Those mountains are just so cool. You ready, honey? Alright, we're Go ahead, baby. Are you guys going? Go ahead, honey. I think there's two. You're going to see Jackie. But I don't think that that's gonna matter because there's two different turnstiles. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think that matters because there's two turnstiles, so it shouldn't cut them off. But I'm not. I mean, I don't know. I don't work here, so. It's pretty empty from right here. It's already at a 55 minute wait though. So. Look how cute Abel looks in his Black Panther shirt. And you'll have to turn around so I can see it. I can only see your hood. He got it at Target the other day for like 12 bucks. It's so cute. An animal kingdom if that was appropriate. Very appropriate.
you, they have this whole water cooler area um, filled with nice ice cold water and some water cups. So if you are hot in the park, sorry, that's my orange juice. If you're getting hot in the park, you can just come right in the doors right here and get some free water. Um, that's definitely really nice. There's some dancing going on out there. We sat down and are eating. Abel got the spinach and feta wrap that he's not pleased with the size of. Like five bucks for this. Yeah. I got the um, smoked Canadian bacon and egg gluten-free breakfast sandwich. So I wanted to try the gluten-free version. I also got an orange juice. He got his coffee. It was $19.77 for everything, and then we just rounded up 33 cents, or whatever, 30 cents, something cents, um, and made it an even 20, and it was donated to the Wildlife Conservation Fund, so that's awesome. I never know there's a tortoise, there's a tortoise in here. There's a tortoise? Yeah, it's right in front of me. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the tamarind. I'll look at the tortoise in a second. Oh yeah, look at it. No, aren't he's eating. There we go. Trying to focus through the through the wiring. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Morning munchies. How peaceful is your life? Them? Yeah, the tamarind's talking. Hi, sweetness. Oh, honey, I want a tortoise. We have a long time. Yeah, our kids could have them. Pass them down. Maybe I have to pick it at college. Oh my goodness. The tortoise party. Hi, sweet is this? One, two, three. And the one buys lonesome over there. Uh, he's taking it, enjoying the sun. He's slowly. You're too close, man. Too close. <laughs> All right, I'll move. Can't go by someone else. <laughs> These two are fighting over this little patch of grass. And what's so funny about the whole thing is their exhibit is huge. It goes really far back. They have all this grass they can pick from. And they're trying to fight it out right here. That's so funny. He's like, I'm not even hungry. But he's eating near me. Someone ate my stuff. Love it. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Fast pass safari, check. 
It's 11.10. Our fast pass was from 10.25 to 11.25. So we're kind of hitting the... And hi, baby. Angel Lee. Cuteness. I love their little gold crown. Hopefully we'll get to see the hippo on the safari. Yes. We went on one last weekend and we were not able to see it. We saw the keepers, which we think that they're not going to interfere. They're going to wait a couple weeks until uh, they can. It's for the safety of. Oh, of course. The keepers and I think the hippo. But it's rare to have a hippo. It's not as easy to keep a hippo. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think we cut off a family. Oops. Have to have a hip bone. Human care. And around May twin day, which means let's go. Twin day. John Bill friends, my name is Bree and I'll be your safari guide for your two week trek through the wild. Hope you like friends and family that you brought with you because you're stuck with them for two whole weeks. <laughs> now, for your safety, we ask a couple things of you here on the Harambe Wild Bay Preserve. One of those things being, please remain seated at all times, keeping hands, arms, feet, legs, toes, trunks, and wings inside the vehicle at all times. If we have any young friends joining us and they're sitting on your lap, that's awesome. But space for them to sit in the house. But the key word there is sitting, not standing on your lap, the seat, the floor, being passed across the road to and fro, or held out the window like that scene from a lion in case it's not safe to look. Good job at hiding that nobody knew that they existed up until then. Now the okapi may look like they're related to the zebra, but they're actually related to the giraffe. Now this animal coming up here on the left hand side of the vehicle, this is a greater kudu. Now right on sight I can tell that that's a female greater kudu the way that I can tell. The males have horns, females do not. So the ones hanging up there on the hill on the right are going to be female as well. Now this is the little Aturi Forest, by the way, home to a lot of our animal friends who are very shy, like to use this brush and dense vegetation as a camouflage from Predator. Meaning that if you can't see them, odds are they don't want to be seen because they're really good at making it so that you don't have that white wall over there. Now black rhino, female will only reproduce about every two and a half to five years. They also have no natural predators in the wild, making you they can actually hold their breath underwater for about eight minutes at a time. Now not only but live in groups called a bloat, B-L-O-A-T. Making a sound called a wheeze hop that is unique to them like our voices are unique to us. Now these gray birds coming up here on the left, these are pink back pelican, believe it or not. They don't get their pink color until it's closer to mating season and have a wingspan anywhere between seven and nine feet. Meaning they both benefit from it. So what the birds do is that they hang out on the Nile hippo when they're basking on the banks or even if they're in the water, picking up any dead skin or anything like that. And the hippos like it. So both of them benefit with the birds getting a nice clean meal, the hippos getting nice and clean. Here on the left, Nile crocodile. honeycomb like structure allowing the cow to regulate their own body temperature yeah. through blood circulation making them acclimated and adapted to living in environments that are hot humid and harsh heat the now this is called oh, yeah. like those now coming up here right back here way back on the right hand side of that den wild dogs african wild dogs nicknamed the african painted dog because of their painted like coats now the coats are unique to each dog, meaning that no two will have the same one, and that's actually how they can tell each other apart from miles away. With the males coming up to about six feet tall at the shoulder, but don't let that think you make you think that they're not very fast. They actually can leap upwards into the air about six to eight feet off the ground. Fifty percent of their population also live on wildlife reserves like Karambe. Now here on the left hand side, Maasai giraffe. Now there are two different types of giraffe folks. There are Maasai giraffe and there are reticulated giraffe. Now the way that you can tell the difference is in their spots. Now their diet. And coming up on the left, a couple of elephant friends hanging out. Now elephants live in a matriarch society and what that means plain and simple. Whatever mom says goes. And everyone listens to what mom has to say. With the eldest mother elephant being the one that's in charge. So majority of the time it's going to be grandma and if not another, the next eldest female elephant is going to be the one. Now all of an elephant's herd is going to be family. So the moms, dads, cousins, extended family, things like that. 
If you see them and they look a little bit dirty, that's okay. They like it that way. Uh, you'll see the baby elephants hanging out there in a puddle of mud. That's actually how they keep their skin safe from the sun. Throwing things on their backs like hay, dirt, grass, mud, things like that. You'll also notice that she is in between two larger elephants. Now, elephants will do these kind of things to protect their young. So what they'll happen is she will never be anywhere where there is not an older or a larger elephant with her. So whether that be mom or another elephant friend hanging out there, they will all protect their young. So cute, I can't even do it. All right, we're done with safari. We're gonna head into Pete Safari for lunch. This is pretty um, atypical for us. We normally hit Satuli Canteen, Yak and Yeti, Plain Tree Barbecue. Um, we definitely have our usuals, so I'm gonna take Abel in here as he's never had lunch in here before. 82 degrees, y'all. It's hot. Yeah, that's what uh, mom said. Flatbread, cheeseburger flatbread, pepperoni flatbread, Mediterranean flatbread, cheese flatbread, parts of romaine salad with shrimp or parts of romaine salad with chicken. We got yelled at because I wasn't moving. Sorry! And then the kids' meals are uh, Mickey pasta, Smuckers, Uncrustable, mac and cheese, and a cheese flatbread. You can also get garlic knots and tomato basil soup and a tiramisu dessert. And then the drinks are the usual um, sodas, water, that mandarin orange lemonade, hun. They have the mandarin orange lemonade that we get at um, Plain Tree that we really like. Or we can get it with vodka. But they have it regular too. Here's our food. So this pizza here on the left is mine. I asked for it to be made with dairy-free cheese. So it took about 10-15 minutes. We were just given a pager and then asked to come back. And then Abel got the regular pepperoni flatbread so you guys could kind of see the difference. And then it comes with this corn coleslaw. And we have some water. What did you think of Pete Safari, hon? It's good. Yeah? Um, I like the inside. It was very colorful. Yes. Like, would you recommend it for people to eat? Yeah, it's a nice variety. What okay. a place to sit. Yeah. If you're looking for a regular pizza pizza, like, for your kids, that was a good place. Yeah. Because I definitely think with the Animal Kingdom, the other restaurants are more like exotic foods, you know, um, like Yak and Yeti, if you don't like Asian food, it might be hard to find something there. Yeah, I wonder if you can substitute uh, our choices, like pizza and food, maybe. Oh, yeah. Good, I'm glad you liked it. It's nice to try new things. I don't know if you guys can see him, but there is the vulture. We just walked around to the other side of the Tree of Life. Yeah, you can kind of see him, he's moving his head. There's another big bird on the right. I wonder maybe that's why it's back in there. That's so cool. And then there's also a lemur. Shut up! You see his little ring tail? Nestled in the rocks there. So cool. It's just such a nice day. It's no wonder all these animals are sleeping. So peaceful. I mean, look at his exhibit. Very nice. I would sleep out here too. Oh my god, you're getting fired up! Oh, and you can see the vulture from here too. The other side. Here. 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 Oh, yeah. Great. Good attention. Oh, thanks, Daddy. So 
And then Abel's curious what kind of duck is Donald, so he's trying to search it on Siri. I said it's he's funny, the he says significant other others. Daisy Duck. Donna Duck. Donna? Who's Donna? Who we gotta ask Donald who's Donna. Scrooge McDuck is the right. uncle. Right, and then the nephews Ludwig are Huey Dewey Von Louie. Louie. Yeah, and then Ludwig von that's the like the scientist duck. He's like the crazy duck. So his maternal relatives is a clan McDuck. Hmm. We're in Dino Land now. Um, so if you guys, if you guys know what kind of duck Donald is, we're very curious because when we asked his um, handlers, they said he's the number one duck, <laughs> which is a very true answer. Um, he's cool. So we're in. Oh, is this the line for Goofy? Oh, cool. Oh my, oh, Goofy and Pluto! Wow! I think we're gonna maybe check out the store or something. I'm kind of wanting something sweet, but I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I've been thinking that too. We'll have to maybe get an ice cream or something. We're in the shop right outside of Dinosaur where it lets you in when you get off the ride. And there is this fun, like, Pick Mix candy. You grab one of the Goofy's candy bags and you can fill it up with Starburst, Now or Laters, Reese's, Smarties, Hershey's Kisses, Lobby Toffee. That's super fun. And then there's a whole wall of candy over I don't know here. That's an Easter egg or not, but that's the dinosaur right there. Oh my Carnotaurus. gosh. That's the one that pops out. At the end, right? Yeah. It's making it more blurry. Here we go. That's so cool. I've never noticed that before. That's very neat. Look at the wall of candy. Are you wanting candy like this? Or are you wanting something cold? Like ice cream? Me too. Well, look, this is interesting. But, oh, that's. It probably didn't mean to come loose. There's another little dinosaur buy it too. Oh I, goodness, no. We'll shove that right you think it's bag. sick. But with my million dollars, I'll be okay. But I wouldn't want to spend my million dollars going to the doctor. It smells old too, like. <laughs> smells, you know, I'm like, sure it does. That smell with old stuff. More candy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get something ice cream related. Wow, look. But these are these do look nice. <laughs> placed our order. Oh! They're melting fast though. Yeah, because it's hot.